Hi, I'm John Batham. This is Trailers from Hell. Let's talk about the original version of The Lady Killer shot in 1955. And it's probably Alexander McKendrick's comic masterpiece and one of the best comedies ever to come out of Britain and Ealing Studios. Now, in this movie, Alec Guinness is the insane leader of a bunch of bungling crooks who rent a room in an old lady's house to use for planning a giant train robbery. And the landlady is a sweet old lady who's kind of dotty, like they say in Britain. And she's told these crooks are, are musicians practicing for a concert. Now, these guys look about as much like musicians as sumo wrestlers. And all these goons in the movie, they bring in their instrument cases and they set them up in the rented room. And then they put on a scratchy old record of Baccarini music and pretend to be practicing while they're actually planning this robbery. For a while, this movie is really funny as McKendrick contrasts the thug's behavior against this Victorian politeness of the little old lady. But she surprises us, and she's no dummy. And when she figures out what they're really up to, she says, I'm going to the police. And now they decide they have to kill her. But they like her. They, now they like her, and they can't decide on who's going to do the terrible deed. So anyway, spoiler alert. I, I don't want to give away the ending, but this is first and foremost a comedy. It's a dark one, but it's a comedy. The cast is amazing, and Alec Guinness is just brilliant as this insane mastermind. But there's also Herbert Lom, who you remember as the inspector in all the Pink Panther movies, and Peter Sellers, also Pink Panther, as a young Cockney thug. And the whole cast is topped off by Katie Johnson, who was unknown at that time as the little old lady. And she won a British Academy Award, and the film was the best British film of the year and probably still one of the best Ealing comedies ever made. So there's a more recent version by the Coen brothers. I mean, we filmmakers just cannot resist remaking our favorite films. I'm guilty of it myself with Dracula. Somehow that chemistry of the original between the crude crooks and the innocent little old lady just doesn't really hang together. It's a shame because I'm a huge fan of the Coen brothers. So go to the original Lady Killers and see how funny a movie can be.